Squares? You can't spare three squares? No, I don't have a square to spare. I can't spare a square. <laughs> Two plus? One seems to have a square to spare these days. The toilet paper shortage is real, but if you think everyone running to the store, stocking up, hoarding, whatever you want to call it, is the reason why, that may not explain all of it. We talked to the CEO of a toilet paper supply company to get perspective. He says there's more to it. There's a pecking order for where manufacturers can send that supply first, and there are two entities suddenly ordering a lot more. Um, FEMA orders and first responder orders, and first responders generally hospitals, and then um, big box retail uh, for you know, for American consumers. That and China was not producing it while they were in the midst of the crisis. They've started to now, but there's difficulty in getting it overseas. Hebert says he's also seen his sales flip from 80% to businesses to now it's 80% to consumers, which makes sense since we're all going at home a lot more than at the school or the office. Casey, I, I looked it up to find out what the average is for how often we go to the bathroom. The average person goes five times a day. If three of those times used to be at work, that's 15 more times at home times four people in a household. And that's 60 more flushes a week. That's the dirty work you're doing there, Teresa. Important, <laughs> important research. It's rough. Yeah, right. No, but really, I mean, it, it is important, uh, especially yeah. as people need toilet paper. Maybe what, what should happen is these businesses that are closed, they should be giving it away to their employees. There you go. That's one idea. I don't think it's going to last forever. He certainly didn't think it would either. 643.